Now, Russia has claimed that it has taken full control of the eastern Ukrainian city of Avdivka hours after Kyiv said it has pulled out of the former stronghold and this was to save the lives of the soldiers. This comes as the war closes in on its two-year mark on the 24th February when Moscow announced a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin hailed his army's capture of the eastern Ukrainian town of Avdivka as an important victory. The capture of the town marks the most significant territorial gain for Russia's forces since the seizure of Bakhmut last May. This is the map of Ukraine that shows the changes in Russian territorial control during the nearly two years of war. The Russian operations are advances indicated in orange here, as you can see. Kyiv had earlier announced its withdrawal from the town, which it said was taken to reduce military casualties at a time of stretched resources. Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade released footage showing the movement of servicemen under fire in Avdivka. Russia back on the offensive in eastern Ukraine with Kyiv suffering a shortage of ammunition and manpower. Russian rocket fire killed at least two people in the eastern city of Kramatorsk, which is around 20 kilometers from the front lines in eastern Ukraine. Meanwhile, addressing the gathering of politicians, diplomats and military officials from around the world at the Munich Security Conference, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky urged allies to plug an artificial shortage of weapons that is giving Russian forces the upper hand on the battlefield. He added that the stalled U.S. aid was imperative. President Biden, on the other hand, has assured that he is confident that Congress will renew war aid. I spoke with Zelensky this afternoon to let him know that I was confident we're going to get that money to keep that country from being overrun by Russia. You know, there's so much at stake. I learned, I uh, watched the television the other night and <coughs> One of the other Republican candidates saying, I've never explained to the American people why NATO is so important. NATO is critical to our survival. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba, who also attended the Munich Security Conference, said that he had discussed the prospects for peace with his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi. This was also part of a long-running bid to bolster relations with Beijing. Kaleba said that he had discussed Ukraine's plans to hold a global peace summit which Switzerland has agreed to help stage. We need, all of us need much, much more artillery ammunition. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.